Today I'm going to be playing a ramp druid that uses the deck cheating powers of ETC Band Manager. So the main things we're going to be ramping into are some big undead minions. We've got Thaddeus, the 10 mana legendary that makes our cards cost less mana. And we've got Flesh Behemoth, a 9 cost minion whose death rattle draws an undead from the deck and summons a copy of it. We've also got Death Blossom Womper, who draws a death rattle from the deck and gains its death rattle. Our only death rattles are going to be the Flush Behemoth and also Cecily of the Fey Court, whose death rattle draws a minion from the deck and makes it cost eight less. So a lot of big undead and death rattle stuff to cheat. And that's where ETC comes in. So inside the ETC, I've got three really powerful undead minions but they're minions that aren't necessarily that great to be hitting with Flesh Behemoth. We've got Plague Maw the Rotting, that says anytime a friendly taunt minion dies, you resurrect it without the taunt. We've got Elder Nadox, who destroys a friendly undead minion and gives its attack to all friendly minions. So at best, this is an 11 damage bloodlust if we hit Thaddeus with it. And finally, we have Rivendare War Rider, who is a win condition all on its own. Uh, hmm. I could keep plating Creeper, uh, Crypt Keeper, but I don't know. It's pretty bad against Zoo. I mean, it simply must be growth and to nourish, right? Oh, we got ourselves a big warlock. How fun. But really the fun part here was the guff. Look at all this beautiful mana I have. This was a flesh behemoth. Alright, floating two mana here is kind of a bummer, but uh, that's fine. ETC. They really want that to die, huh? Should be fine to play that. Alright, well, Flesh Behemoth is 50-50 on hitting Thaddeus here. And it's not... Well, a lot of these Warlocks play uh, Twisted Tether, I think it's called. The Destroy Minion card. A bit of a whiff here. But it's never a bad thing to have a Nubricon in hand. A Sheep. We'll just re-roll the aquatic form and see what happens. Uh, I mean, I could just play Thaddeus, huh? This says it's on odd. I think it's on even, though. I think I'm being lied to. It is on even. Sneaky, sneaky game.
This is a lot of stats, but it is easy for them to trade off Blush Behemoth here, and then maybe they hit Thaddeus. But they need, like, a good hand with their Thaddeus as well. Their Thaddeus should also be even. Well, if they had Twisted Tether, I don't think they would have done that. So that's pretty good for me. Oh. I don't think they'll have time to play a card they draw from that. This hits Flesh Behemoth, which does nothing. There's ETC. You know what, maybe we can have some fun with ETC here. Gimme Plague Maw. Oh, this comes back as odd. Right. Was it already odd? It was already odd. So that's fine. Okay, so my Plague Maw made a Thaddeus, that was pretty good. And then I've got these four sixes if my opponent tries to play Neptalon to get through. It's also definitely possible that I should have just made a Rivendare there. Alright, let's go Plague Maw the Rotting. You did it, buddy. Is this even lethal? According to my deck tracker cheat that I enabled that adds up my damage for me, it should be exact lethal. Another shaman. The two shamans I've seen have been murloc, so I'll keep spammy. Another Arcanist. Probably just want to scale of Anixia. More generally applicable card. Alright, Hedge Maze into Womper. Looks like my opponent might also be playing some big undead minions. Just going spammy into Whomper. Not a great spammy Arcanist, but I don't think it's that good of a card in the matchup.
Alright, well, Thaddeus does pretty well on board here. Okay, so this is a Flesh Behemoth. That means it pulls a Nubricon or Crypt Keeper, neither of which is super good here. I mean, I guess I'm just playing Scale of Anixia, right? Actually, I probably have to trade this because of Bloodlust. I don't know if that deck plays Bloodlust, but it's kind of scary. I can just play both Crypt Keepers here. Pretty good turn. Their Flush Behemoth is probably quite scary. If I kill it and it's Thaddeus, I have no way of dealing with Thaddeus. So I guess I don't kill it. Unfortunately, this doesn't pull anything else now. So ETC, it can be Elder Nadox, which is lethal here if Flesh Behemoth doesn't pull a taunt, which is kind of a big if. I guess it's also just good for trading, though, if I need to deal with Thaddeus. Oh, just this thing? Okay, that's not that big of a deal. Whoops. I meant to draw with that Nourish, but whatever. Probably would have been bad to do so. If they clear my board here, I'm probably in trouble. Well, I can always just ETC for Rivendare. Okay, well this time it's definitely lethal. Nice. Love a wild growth.
Well, growth and hedge maze are both nice to have. Ooh, growth into nourish, you say? Don't mind if I do. Wow. That's got to be a Reno list, right? Next turn, looking like probably Hedge Maze plus Seedsman. Alright, up to 10 mana already. So I can play Thaddeus next turn, I just can't use its effect at all. I guess I will draw three cards and then play two Crypt Keepers here. Spammy Arcanist, though. They just so happen to give me a 1, 2, 3, 4 board, so why not? It would be rude of me to not take the Spammy Arcanist they offered me. play Flesh Behemoth, it pulls just a Anubricon, but I mean, Anubricon is a nice card to have in hand, for sure. Let's just go ahead and do this. So if I can ever stick a board, I do have the Anubricon ETC Elder Nadox uh, combo. My opponent is at 43, so I probably need like four, even five minions to be in play for that to be lethal. But if I just leave some two ones in play from Scale of Anixia, I don't really think my opponent will be playing around it. What a fun card. Well, next turn is Soul Stealer, so probably don't really want to commit too much more to the board. Could play this for Cecily, though, maybe. Yeah, I think this is fine. Oh, it hits Flesh Behemoth. So if they do have Soul Stealer here, uh, they're sending these into the 4-7. It doesn't pull anything. And then, like, they could just send this in here. So Soul Stealer, like... Kills two seven power minions, basically. Pretty mediocre. Spammy Arcanist. Spammy Arcanist does deal six damage here, which is kind of interesting. But is that good? Probably not. Although I could go Spammy Arcanist, double Crypt Keeper. Which gives me 11 power in play, which is not even close to uh, ETC being lethal. 
Hedge maze is pretty garbage. I do have a hedge maze in play. Maybe I just go Rivendare here. So not only does the shuffle a win condition into my deck, it activates the death rattle of this Womper, which is currently a flush behemoth. I don't think I'm likely to be dead here, but I guess it's possible. Let's dump some cards here, I guess. And I probably want Rivendare to die before it gets, like, Sylvanas or something silly. Because if it does get Sylvanas, not only do they gain a win condition, but then I could lose to Patchwork. mana, so I can go Flush Behemoth Hedge Maze here. Thaddeus is even cost cards. So what, I would go like Thaddeus? No, I'm just not playing Thaddeus here. I think I just do this. Alright, so I just need to hit Rush Horse, which is the best one to end on, so that's great. What does the text on this say? If you had all four horsemen die this game. So Hedge Maze does not do anything, even on the final horseman. Thaddeus for odd cost cards. Um, this only draws one, so let's go ahead and get it out of the way. Nine cards in hand. Let's just play a lifesteal horse. Seems really hard for the opponent to win from this position. But who knows? Maybe they've got something. I won. Pretty lucky that I hit uh, a unique horse every time, but I don't think it really mattered much.